Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about null hypothesis testing and we're going to do it at three levels in three minutes. So let's get going. Level one, is there a meaningful difference between two data sets? Imagine two people shooting arrows at a target. If each only takes one shot, that single arrow might not represent their true skill. Maybe the wind blew, maybe they sneezed, whatever happens. So instead, we have each archer take 10 shots. If archer number one's arrows are all clustered very close to that center, that shows consistent accuracy. Archer two's arrows, however, are more spread out. Even if some are close, others are far from the center. So by comparing all the shots, we can confidently say that Archer 1 is the better Archer. This is like comparing two data sets. Looking at all the data, seeing how far they are from an ideal spot, like the bullseye, gives us a clear idea if there's a meaningful difference between the two. Level 2, let's talk data. Suppose we have two data sets representing two different groups. We want to know if they're different. First, we can look at the average, or the mean, of each group. If one mean is higher, that suggests a possible difference. But the mean alone isn't enough. We also need to consider how spread out the data are, which is measured by something called the standard deviation. A small standard deviation means the data points are very close to that average. A large one means they're way more spread out. So let's take a look at this first graph. Both groups have different means, but the data are very spread out. The standard deviation is huge. With so much overlap, it's hard to tell if the groups are truly different. Now look at the second graph. The means are the same as before, but the data are much more tightly clustered with a small standard deviation. We look for a big gap between the means and tightly clustered data, just like in that second graph. Level three. Forget eyeballing it, let's talk math. When we're looking at difference of means, we're testing between two hypotheses. The two data sets are different, the alternative hypothesis, or that there's no difference, the null hypothesis. When we do a difference of means test, we're trying to assert with 95% confidence that we have enough evidence to reject this null hypothesis, that there is no difference between the two data sets. We can do this with some fancy math you see here by calculating a t-statistic using the mean, the standard deviation, and the sample size for each group. The basic idea behind that formula is that the absolute value of that calculation will be higher when the difference of the two means is higher, the standard deviation for each data set is lower, and the sample size is higher. We take the value we get here, the t statistic, and apply it to our t distribution, which approximates a normal distribution, or the bell curve. If the value is greater than 1.96 or less than negative 1.96, we can say that the t-statistic falls into the two shaded rejection regions of this image, and the outcome is unlikely enough to give us strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We have strong evidence that the two data sets are statistically distinguishable from each other. Please like and comment on this short and subscribe to my channel to see more on this, how to apply it to business questions, and how to communicate that to a wider audience.